Hey you guys, welcome back to Living a Country. Today we're gonna to be sharing the process of our DIY fence installation, and we're going to be doing step by step, but it's also going to be very realistic. And if you guys missed last week's video, we shared the process of my hubby and I sharing mowing our backyard. We also shared building our kids this really, really cute sandbox, as well as uh, putting together some new outdoor furniture, which Part of it blew away, which was so incredibly sad, but um, we also took you to our local nursery where we looked for shrubs for the left side of our property for not only privacy, but also so we could avoid the strong winds that happened at our house um, eventually when they grow. So it was so much fun to do this with our kids. Our kids were looking for butterflies and we just had a really, really great time together. We also shared installing the 25 Leland Cypresses that we bought as well as measuring it all out and digging the holes with our auger that we bought for the back of my husband's uh, tractor. And we also shared, of course, watering down the trees, but also installing them. Now the very next day, our fencing arrived, and you guys, this was such an exciting day for us because it was something we really, really worked hard to be able to purchase, and we have 12 homes that are able to see right into our backyard area. We live on about an acre and a half, and so privacy is something we're so looking forward to, and through this video, you guys are gonna see us DIY fencing our back portion of our property and then of course we will still do the right side and then finish it off But that's all we could do for this video and at this time and it feels so nice to do so How's it going guys? So we just got our load of lumber for our fencing so this is actually really exciting Since we've wanted a fence for so long so the guy just delivered it as you guys can see what we got here uh, We have enough to do at least the whole back section of the house the side up to a certain point because we got to figure out what we got to do in that corner over there and then also a small portion in the front yard so it was, that was fun worked out now i gotta head to work now the first thing we did when figuring out our fence was where to place it we had the choice of going all the way to our property line which is where all those weeds are or we could have aligned it with our neighbor's uh, chain link fence and we decided to do it that way we are losing um, about, I think it was 10 or 15 feet, which it doesn't look like much on the camera, but it actually is. Um, we decided to do that so that we had to buy less uh, fancy materials and it saved us a little bit of money and made the process just a tad bit easier. And after we decided where we wanted to put the fence, we measured every eight feet and then my husband spray painted where we needed to um, place the holes with our post hole digger. tractor at the job site and so that's why it's on the trailer like this we own a landscaping company and so these tools are really really great when um, we have DIY projects at the house or things like that but as you can see we don't have a lot of DIY projects that we've done outside um, but this one's coming really into handy especially for the auger that he's attaching and we just got that from a local hardware store it was like a hundred bucks which was super super great Okay, you guys, so we're gonna be starting off the fencing in the backyard. Uh, just to get it started, we have trees that we need to pull out that are dead that um, just didn't last. And um, we're gonna start today with putting the posts in. We've got 22 posts to be uh, putting in. And then tomorrow we're gonna get started with everything else.
Let me pretend I know what I'm doing. Good. <laughs> First, we're gonna add a bag of concrete. Next, you turn on the on button. Next, you're gonna add water from a hose. And you're gonna keep going. And then you're gonna stop. Why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. I fell into a big Hey, you guys! Did you get an owie? They got a pocket. Good job. Got a huge obstacle course. Now we are building a six foot fence, and so we're using four by four by eight pressure treated wood, and we're digging the holes two feet. Um, so that way, obviously, the eight foot posts end up being six feet for that six foot fence. That's the highest we can do it in our neighborhood. Um, and I think that's how it is for most. So that's what we decided to do. And this little concrete mixer came in handy so, so much. And um, I'm really, really happy. I ended up listening to my husband when he said we needed one for the project. It just, it really made, um, the, the process of it so much smoother. And I live in a really, really rocky area. And actually when a lot of people, I believe, were building the homes um, around us, they would dump all of their, um, all of their dirt onto our property. And so it did make it less rocky on top, but when you go down a little bit further, it's super, super rocky. Um, so having that auger was really, really helpful for my husband to dig those holes and make it as easy as possible. And when my husband's words, getting the posts in straight was the hardest part of this whole thing. And so I helped as much as I could. I am a very, very busy mom to a active, active two year old boy and my four year old girl. Um, she's really great. They're both really great kids, but when you have busy kids, you need to be on top of it. And so my number one priority when doing these DIY projects is making sure my kids are safe and, um, if they're not playing with their toys outside where I can see them, I am with them. And of course I have a super understanding husband who totally gets that. And so you will see throughout this um, DIY fencing that I am missing um, at one portion of it. I had to end up doing some of our tax paperwork inside while the baby was napping. And um, I do a lot of behind the scenes kind of things like editing videos and doing voiceovers and things like that. Baby, it's a big dark world You don't need to know about that Don't need to know about that I'll protect you with my lies You don't need to know about that Don't need to know about that Just let me love you 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 Just let me love you
to see the world again But until then did this fencing project back in September and it is almost November which is absolutely crazy and mixing the concrete honestly made me want to do one of those concrete pumpkin ideas to put the mums in and I just never got around to it because we have been doing so many DIY projects not only on the outside of our home um, but in the inside of our home too I keep talking about it it's not gonna be up until late November but our living room makeover has just been an absolute blast to do. We've been working on blinds, we've been working on DIY batten board wall, we've been working on painting, and um, you guys are gonna see even more in the months to come, which is super, super exciting, because you all know that we moved into our home with literally, I call it the, um, it's like basically just like sheetrock comb. So it was so, so basic. And you know what? That's okay because we have to do things slowly to um, keep on budget and make sure at the end of the month um, that we can, you know, pay for everyday life. And so the DIY projects have been so, so fun to just make our house a home over time. And I hope you guys are really, really gonna love the DIY makeover process too. In mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again And tell me what you want This time I won't take it to the heart Cause I know we won't make it out I've heard it all before Yeah, tell me what you want Now Mr. Brody needed some mommy hugs. He was playing in the sandbox with Sissy, which is basically right in front of us, to the left a little bit. And so um, I absolutely love watching the footage when our kids are in it. And it's gonna be so much fun one day to look back on and just kind of a way to capture these memories. And I hope you guys enjoy uh, seeing our kids grow up too. We head for the sky, it's all right. Our wings wouldn't fly, it's all right. If we are crashing down again. Pieces of love, it's all right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me a lie again. And tell me what you want. Right, guys so all the posts are in right now so finally we can start on the cross members so the post that we got in last night that's where we're gonna start our cross members first while the other post that we just set the concrete can kind of harden up a little bit before we start messing with it but to look at it here's all the posts and I did get one post uh, the cross members over just to kind of get some measurements see how if that's kind of what I'm wanting to do and if I like that I'm doing the 2x4 along the very bottom where the piece is gonna go because what we're gonna do is when we put our panels on 
We're gonna do a front trim piece along the top as well as along the bottom. And the reason why I wanted to have the two by four a little bit lower is that, that it's a one by four. If uh, down below the ground is a little too high, if the grading, because I think down there it starts to dip a little bit more, I can take that one by four and kind of adjust it so it makes it a smaller gap down below. That way my dog can't get out because knowing him, he will. He seems to snake out of everything. So that's the reason why I'm putting the one or the two by four down there. It's not touching the ground. And the full back section is always going to stay dirt. And I'm constantly going to spray it so I'm not worried about weeds getting up and rotting it out and worry about water. And if it gets too low, then I'll just scrape out some of the dirt to kind of give it that space. So anyways, so let's go ahead and start getting these cross members on because it's a little bit later in the day. I'm not sure what time it is. Let me grab my, my phone. And so three o'clock. So it took us about, what, another hour and a half to get those last posts in. Uh, from the last time I stopped and recorded. So luckily these should go by pretty fast. So let's go ahead and get started. Right. Now it's officially starting to look like a fence and we waited quite a few days before doing the fence project after the concrete was in. That way it settled and everything was in there good and we can make sure um, that we didn't need to add more concrete or move anything around or anything like that. We use these metal brackets at the bottom, top and middle to get those two by fours in place, which was almost like a fun puzzle piece watching my husband do this while watching the video footage. Now I'm just slowly bringing the pine pieces for the fencing over slowly. Um, it looks super slow, but I'm going through the pile because we got one batch that just had termites and yucky. And um, so I wanted to make sure that the fencing we were putting up for the back portion was all the good wood and we could return all the yucky wood, if that makes sense. Start a fight, never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now We should talk about us How come we're holding on? Cause really I don't see the benefits now And you've broken my trust So I just wonder Why do I fall back to you? Really nothing I can do about it Why do I fall back to you? It's like you're a drug to me I can't quit it's not like we're still 22 Trying something new just to pass time I don't think that we ever could work this out None of it makes sense, there's no reason why Why I still fall back to you? Okay, all that pine wood is going up, you guys, and it's really now starting to look like a fence. And my husband said this was the breeziest part of the whole DIY fencing process, and he just did an absolute incredible job. This portion of it made me super anxious, excited to start the staining process of the fencing. I am like always two steps ahead and not in a good way. I can't, I'm like, can I start standing in the fence? And Jason's like, we're not even done with the, with the fence. Hold your horses. And I don't know, maybe I'm the only one like that. Let me know if you guys get antsy pantsy too. And we did get a delivery just a few days ago and it is our ready seal stain. We ended up getting the natural coloring, coloring, color stain and um, at the end of this video you guys will actually hear me say 
um, that we went with their dark walnut, but I switched um, my choice last minute because I thought that one might be too dark for our house and I wanted to go with something that just had a really, really natural look and kind of just an effortless look, if that makes sense. Why do I fall back to you? Alright guys, so the way that I'm planning these out, I stack them where this is the top railing, middle and bottom. And then after I cut them, I stack it where the top and then middle, so that way when I get over there, I have them in the right, because some of them are off by like a quarter inch. Um, and so that way, like I said, I don't misplace whichever ones go which. I'm gonna use my square, I think it's square. I'm not really good when it comes to all the tool names, but anyways, this helps me get some straight lines. All right guys, so got all my cross members on. So now we gotta do our caps, which is the two by six by eight pressure treated. We'll get those all screwed on. And then that way all we have to do is just get our paneling, pop it up to that, all good. So let's get those on. Couldn't keep the door 
You guys are actually gonna see us stain this in next week's video, which obviously I am super excited about. I tested out Ready Seal's products and they have so many great color choices when it comes to the stain styles, all so different. And I personally, I love the dark walnut and the natural. Those are the two that really, really caught my eye. And as you can see, Jason's just flying through this project, you guys. This was the easiest part for him, and I'm super, super loving the way it turned out. We really, for a long time, were stuck on what we wanted to do. It's kind of like buying a house versus DIYing or building a house. We were really stuck on the process if we wanted to go with the plastic um, privacy fence um, or just the picket fence in general. Um, and I'm so happy we ended up doing the DIY wood fencing. I think that it just goes with our home really well and even though it might not be as easy of a cleanup as um, the plastic ones, um, I just personally think that this is the best option for our family. As you guys can see, it just started pouring, absolutely pouring outside. So Jason is like kicking butt, going super, super fast and doing an incredible job. subscribe to our channel make sure you guys not only hit that subscribe button but that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any video we've got lots of DIY makeovers to come and house projects and outdoor projects and I would hate for you guys to miss out on that Jason's almost done with the fence I'm gonna not only guys show you the reveal but also the stain color we picked for our fence so that clip is to come in just a minute but I will see you guys later on the Minute Country and hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna take you outside. Here's what our fence is looking like. We just put up this volleyball net that my mom got on clearance. Um, so we got to play it with my brother and sister-in-law. We're in town, which was so much fun. My arms ended up being severely bruised to the point where I went to the doctors because I thought something was wrong. But this is what the fence is looking like so far, you guys. We are just so blown away with how beautiful it looks. I mean, we're not blown away by how talented we are, but we're blown away and just feeling very, very blessed. So I wanna take you guys out here. We just got these samples right here of these stains. And we're gonna go with the Mission Brown right here. So that's what our fence is going to look like and we're so excited to share with you guys the staining process too. This weekend we're going to be working on this side of the fence over here so that'll be really really fun.